I'm Rebecca Patrick, Vice President of PR and Communications. It's Chamber Awards season in preparation for the 31st annual celebration on November 10th. When we look at the Government Leader of the Year honor, the list of previous winners is a who's who of Hoosier Titans. It all began in 1990 with U.S. Senator Richard Luger, the first of two times he was recognized, when both Luger and longtime U.S. Senator Birch Bayh passed away in 2019, it was the perfect time with the blessing of their families to name the honor after both. One year ago, the first winner of the Bayh Luger Government Leader of the Year was current Governor Eric Holcomb. In the interim years, numerous state legislators and federal representatives received top honors for their work to bolster both the Indiana business community and the broader public. There have been multiple pairs of winners when lawmakers from both sides of the aisle teamed together for critical results. A few of the more unique honorees were, in 2003, Pat Bauer and Brian Bosma, respective leaders of their Indiana caucuses that year, who both also retired from the General Assembly in 2020. In 2008, former Governor Joe Kernan, who passed away just a short time ago, and then Supreme Court Chief Justice Randall Shepard for their work on the Indiana Commission for Local Government Reform. And in 2018, current Indiana Chief Justice Loretta Rush for her efforts on dealing with the opioid crisis and transitioning the court system to better serve the needs of Hoosiers. I have the privilege of writing about the 2020 honoree in our Biz Voice magazine. We're confident you will be inspired by this winner's important accomplishments in a crucial role. And we've already told you last week about Fort Wayne's recognition as the PNC Community of the Year. You can view past stories on the award winners in the archives at bizvoicemagazine.com. Learn more about the 2020 awards event at the link to the right of this video.